Hey friends, I'm John and this is my red tail boa Scarlet. I have quite a few years experience breeding ball pythons and creating social media. Take a quick second to smash those like and subscribe buttons because it helps grow my channel. And let's see what we have going on today. We are gonna start trying something new. We'll see how this video goes, but I wanted to start kind of showing the cool snakes that everybody else is making in the industry. Now there's a lot of people doing a lot of cool work all around the place, some big breeders, some small breeders, um, and you know, kind of just trying to share the love. So let's just dive in. I think every week I'm gonna try to pick out five snakes that are maybe even reptiles at some point, but for now we're probably gonna stick to ball pythons. Uh, five animals that I wanted to point out that I saw over the course of the last week that just kind of blew my mind or looked really cool. And um, we'll start right here with something from Brad Boa Reptiles. Um, this is a redhead confusion leopard yellow belly clown. A bunch of fantastic genes in clown. Obviously, clown's probably still one of the hottest um, genes on the market. And redhead is up and coming if you haven't seen it yet. And can, Confusion is one of my personal favorites to start mixing into clown stuff. Um, but this animal is awesome. And as you can see, it has a bunch of likes already. Um, so if you haven't seen it, this is your chance to take a look at it and kind of uh, gawk in awe at it as I have. So awesome job, uh, Brad Bow Reptiles. Now, these animals aren't in any specific order either. It's just like the five animals that I picked this week. Um, so it's not like a one through five sort of thing. Um, but I wanted to get here to the second animal, which also has confusion in it, which is a confusion Batman. And they, you know, say plus a little more there as well from Regis brothers. Um, so Batman is leopard spot nose clown. So this is a confusion leopard spot nose clown. And it's a beautiful snake. This snake actually looks very similar to a snake I picked up from Canova uh earlier in the year last year um that actually was not a visual clown but only a hat but confusion does so much um with when you start plugging it into leopard and od and yb and all those other genes so this is one of those animals that i just it popped up and i was like man i love the look of it because it looks very similar to the snake that i got last year from canova so uh, take a look at regis brothers uh this post didn't get a lot of, a lot of love yet but check them out now, I'm also going to post the links to the social media for all these accounts. Um, I'll probably make like a single post on Instagram and link them on there. And then when this post on YouTube, if they have a YouTube channel, I will link it there as well. Um, now, everybody knows who Miguel from Always Evolving Pythons is. Uh, but this snake, it popped up and a, a super OD yellow belly leopard clown pie just looks awesome. I have a Super OD um, Yellow Belly Fire Clown Pied male, and it's very high white. And this snake um, is a lot of what I love about the Super OD YB Leo Pied combos that I was producing last year, is it has just the, the beautiful highlighter yellow-orange color going down the back um, with absolutely zero dark tones. There's no blacks. There's no browns. It's just yellow. And I haven't seen a clown pied yet that did something like this specifically. Um, so this is a snake that I just, I saw it and I was like, damn, like, <laughs> that's what I want to do with my clown pied stuff. Um, I had terrible odds last year with my clown pieds uh, hitting any visuals. But hopefully this year I'm able to produce something similar to this. So this is an awesome snake. Uh, awesome job, Miguel. Now, this is another one of those ones that I came across. It was actually only in a story. I tried to look for the post of it, so I had to screenshot the story here. Uh, I believe it's Amana pythons. Um, this snake is crazy, especially because it's an adult female. So they're looking at coral glow, red stripe, possible yellow belly, leopard, spot nose, clown. That snake is blazing bright for being an adult female, which doesn't usually happen with a lot of these combos. Obviously, it has a lot to do with the coral glow um, being this color scheme. But that's one of the most unique snakes that I have seen, um, especially as an adult. 
And it kind of makes me think maybe I need to get some Coral Glow in my clowns because I have zero of it right now. I don't even know if I have banana in here at all at this point. But this snake is absolutely fire. I love this snake. I don't know if they produced this or if they purchased it. But either way, congratulations, you guys. That snake is awesome. Now, the fifth animal here is from Rosie's Pythons. And I didn't actually see the genetics listed here. But this looks like an Exanthic Clown pinstripe. Um, now, I don't know what else is in there, but that's what my guess is what it is. It's an Exanthic pinstripe clown, which is awesome. Um, Exanthic Clowns, Exanthic Pies, Exanthic DGs, everything Exanthic. I love it. Um, I have a lot of that going on here myself. I, I'm a big fan of pinstripe in Clown. I don't think... Uh, it's kind of like a poo-poo thing to do at this point. I think a lot of people steered away from pinstripe for a while um, because it's been around so long, but I absolutely love pinstripe in clown stuff and maybe even in clown pieds because pinstripe is typically a, a lower white pied, uh, just sort of like how Enchi does it. So it's going to bring some of that pattern back, hopefully, in some of those pied combos. So you're working clown pied, DG clown pied, my whole goal is to maybe try to hit some pinstripe in that. And this snake here specifically is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, it, by the way that they're saying they're excited to see what this girl drops for us this season. It sounds like she's already an adult. And it shows you how well that snake is keeping its kind of silvery and black tones from being exanthic. Uh, awesome snake. Absolutely love it. Uh, one of my favorites of the week. So that is it uh, for my first top five. Um, my my goal my plan is to do this every week uh and you know spotlight five new snakes every single week you guys post most people post a lot of cool stuff every week i don't get to see all of it you know because of my feed on instagram uh, but i do see a lot of it so i want to start giving people the props for the cool snakes they produced and that they own um but hopefully this this is a good new uh good new format to put on youtube here as well so i'm going to uh Try to make a post of this, um, or at least a screenshot on Instagram at some point, and I will tag all of these people in that post so you can check out their profiles. And if they have YouTube channels, when I post this to YouTube, I'm going to do that as well to give everybody their props. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you next time.